Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are going to talk about the power in you. Now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power in you. Ephesians 3 and 20. Sometimes we can go through life without realizing the power that has been given to us and that lies within us. So we find ourselves sometimes depressed, oppressed, and even victimized by the enemy of our souls. Hopelessness and discouragement can set in and we'll feel lost even as believers. Now, I don't believe that is, it is simply the realization of the power that is within us that makes any difference. One can realize that they are a millionaire, but unless they utilize the substance of the money which belongs to them, then realizing the millionaire status really does them no good. One could be a millionaire let yet live on skid row without utilizing that substance of money. So, we can be like that millionaire on skid row if we have only the realization of the power in us, but yet leave it untapped. We sometimes don't utilize the substance of power that is within us and that has been given to us and is working in us. I looked up the word according. It is to be in agreement or in harmony with. So he that has the ability to give to us and do more than we ask or think works in agreement and in harmony with the power that is working in us. Why would we need to utilize the power that is already in us. Why couldn't the Almighty God just do what we ask or think? Well, I think of it in terms of a parent-child relationship. A child eventually realize, uh, they realize that they can go to the refrigerator and get their own snack. They eventually realize that they can dress themselves. They eventually realize that they can tie their own shoes, etc. They realize that they can be independent. They come to a point in life where they realize they can drive, they can work, and eventually they come to a point where they can support themselves. We as parents work in agreement and in harmony with the power that is working in our children to accomplish what they need for their lives. So why couldn't I as a parent just do whatever my children ask or think? <laughs> why would the child need not only to realize the power, but utilize the power within? The answer is simple. If that power was left untapped and not utilized, then the child, of course, would be crippled. It's like a toddler who realizes that they have the ability to walk, but every time they want to go somewhere, they lift up their hands and cry and scream for someone to pick them up. And of course, if that continued to happen for that toddler, they would ultimately be crippled. They would not be able to experience a full life and a meaningful life. God has designed us to have a full, meaningful, purposeful life, and it is by the power that is working in us. One more thing about the power in you. There is an enemy that would like nothing more than to have crippled Christians to war with. So it's not that we don't have the power or that we don't realize the power. What cripples us is that 
we oftentimes do not utilize the power. The power is there for us to push back and break through the resistance that we sometimes face in life, to overcome it, to conquer it, and to become the ruling, reigning, and royal priesthood that we were designed, called, and destined to be. So now, unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power in you. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. The power is in you.